In this video, you're gonna learn how to take a regular, normal video and color grade it into a cinematic, professional looking video. And you know I hate long intros, so let's just dive into this video. Now, before we hop into CapCut, the first thing you need to ask yourself is, what is the mood that I'm going for for my video? For example, I was once making a documentary on a serious topic, and as I was going through editing it, there was just something off about the video and I couldn't place it. I had the suspenseful music, I was being serious in the video, I couldn't figure out what the problem was. And that's when I realized that I had color graded the video to be bright and colorful and that just didn't communicate that I was talking on a serious topic. So then what I did is I took the saturation and I turned it down so it was less colorful. I turned up the contrast so there'd be a lot more darker spots in the video. And that completely changed the mood of the entire documentary. So that's really something you need to think about. If you're going for something like happy or fun, usually those films are gonna be happy, bright, saturated, warmer colors versus more serious, dramatic type of content. You're not gonna have things as saturated. There's gonna be more contrast. Sometimes things are a bit colder looking. So that's the first place we need to start. Now we can hop into CapCut and actually learn how do we put this together with our own video. Now I'm using the desktop version of CapCut here, but if you're on mobile, you can still follow along with this color grading tutorial. Now, I've got this footage here of this cool biker guy going by, and I want to go for a more serious uh, action kind of shot here because he looks all cool here riding his bike. So, first thing I like to do with color grading is I start with a filter, or if you want to get fancy, a LUT, and that's going to have some pre-designed uh, color grading effects that I can apply to my video, and then I can make further adjustments to really make it my own. So I'm just gonna go over here to filters, and I'm gonna head over to the movie section, because I feel like this is kind of like a movie shot. And one of my favorite ones that are currently in here is this Oppenheimer uh, filter. These may come and go throughout the CapCut app, but right now Oppenheimer is in here. Uh, so if I click on this, there we go, I can see it applied. And I can also adjust the strength of this filter. So if I don't really want it to be all powerful through, which I actually don't want it to be all the way, I'm gonna actually just do it probably like here. I don't want max, so I'm just have 81 strength on this filter. And that already looks completely different from where we <laughs> originally started. So there's that, and then here's that. Um, so we already have a great start to making this look epic. Next, you'll wanna head over to adjustments. So if I click on the video here, and then I can go over to the adjustment tab, and I can scroll down a bit, and here I can adjust things like color temperature and the saturation, uh, things related to light, like brightness, contrast, et cetera, sharpness, vignettes, and there's even some other tools in here like the HSL tabs where I can adjust just this one color or all these different colors individually and be able to adjust them. So for example, the red, I could turn down the saturation of everything red and now that is all black and white. You'll also find things like curves, which I don't personally get into too much, but you're welcome to try this out, as well as the color wheel, which we will get into. This is a fun way to apply certain tints to the shadows or the middle gray or different things like that. First things first, I think I'm gonna try and go for a little more blue in the temperature here for a really cold shot. I'm also gonna add a green hue more in, going almost like a, I could go full max and go matrix here, uh, but I'm not gonna go full matrix. We're gonna go just a little bit. And then I'm also gonna turn the saturation down. And as you can see from this shot, there's not a lot of color here. It's very like black and gray-esque, but I'm still gonna turn it down a bit because now that kind of fits better with the shot. And what I personally like to do is just go through and mess with the knobs. And I know that might seem like, wow, that's such a newbie thing to do, but it gives you a sense of how different things work and how it interacts so that way you can get the right video you want. So I might mess with the brightness here and I'll go down, back, down, back, just to kind of, okay, I kind of like it there. I'll do the same with the contrast. I kind of want less contrast so you can kind of see more of in the darker spots. Um, and maybe lift the shadows a bit. Highlights, so let's hit that a little bit. And then let's add some vignette here. I think if you go to the left, you get a white vignette, which does not fit with this. Uh, and then we can get a darker vignette. 
and I do like that. I think that looks pretty cool. And then HSL, I already talked about this. If this was a more colorful shot, I would totally mess with the HSL more. I love HSL. I love messing with individual colors on a video. It's, I think it's awesome. But we don't have much color for the shot, so let's head over to Color Wheel, and here we can actually adjust the color that'll be tinted for just the shadows. So I can grab this and let's go over to the blue. So you can see what that looks like or orange or red. And we can kind of move this around and actually tint the video a bit. All right, awesome. And then the one other thing, you'll just want to make sure the filter is applied for the full length of the video. Awesome. And then the one last thing we do want to do is make sure to select our video and not forget the cinematic black bars that look super awesome. So I'm going to head over to my video I'm going to go to mask and do film strip extend this a bit. Now take a look at this. We have our original shot here of our bike and it's sitting here, it pulls up, you know, very basic. And then we have the color graded version. And that's what that looks like, which looks way more film cinematic-esque. And the best part about this is there is no right or wrong. There is no right way to color grade a video or wrong way to color grade a video. It is art. It is your choice. Like the Matrix went for a way more green style of color grading, whereas other people didn't do that for their action movies. Like it's up to you to decide what you want your video to look like. So just get in there, have fun, mess around, use the tools here in CapCut, and then also explore some of the other tools that are available in CapCut, like the ones you can find in this playlist right here. Uh, I have actually a, like five parts video series here that you can kind of go through to learn a lot of different tips inside of CapCut. So check that out. Hope this was helpful. I'll see you in the next video.